My name is Virginia Hay and um, I come from Australia and that's where I started my acting career and the acting career started with Mad Max 2 which is down here, oh you probably can't see it, I don't know. Um, and uh, oh I've got a photo here that might be a little bit clearer for you. So that's the character that I played in, in um, Mad Max. Uh, that was the first film, and that led on to another, uh, lots of Australian productions. Prisoner Cell Block H, The Neighbours and Prisoner, and um, Paradise Beach, Pacific Drive, uh, E Street, and loads and loads and loads of other Australian productions that you wouldn't, I mean, it would just go in one ear and out the other, so, uh, because they're all, only all Aussies know a lot of these productions. But the most... Um, I suppose famous productions that people know me from internationally would be Mad Max, my first film. They also know me from James Bond, which I did in 87. So Mad Max was 81. Uh, James Bond was 87. Then, uh, oh, Prisoner Cell Block H was 82. So people know me from that as well. And Farscape, which was... 1999 it got released in 2000 but the the rest of it is um, there's an extensive career in there but mainly Australian productions oh cool well, that's very cool um, yeah. so is your career still going or uh, what are your future plans well um, I've really retired I guess although I wouldn't mind coming out of retirement for something awesome a cool. production but I'm getting older now, so there's very little, the, the acting career, the acting industry is not kind to older women, and so there's not very many roles written for people like myself. There's lots of roles written for elderly people, you know, people who look old, who have grey hair and maybe a bit sort of crinkly around the edges, but uh, there's not a lot written for someone like me who is still old, looking, still looking young. but still, yeah, still youthful and strong and very tall, with high cheekbones, you know, the whole thing. So um, I just have a particular look that's difficult to cast at my age. So it's better for me just to take a back seat until the industry catches up, I guess, with me. Yeah, so uh, ever hopeful, but I do, uh, I'm on tour constantly doing conventions all, all over the world. And this year I've done a couple in Florida in the US and, uh, and then this one of course and there's a whole load more that I'm doing as well in England, probably about another six or seven here in the UK. Um, that's it, that's the end of the convention yeah. now. Um, have you enjoyed the convention? Have you enjoyed I've loved the it. Oh god, yeah. Oh, good. I mean they are the nicest people ever. And Martin and his whole entire team have spoiled us and looked oh, after yeah. us and nurtured us and, and they're really they're really a wonderful team. So I'm looking forward to Oscon UK two, three, four, five, you know, forever. I mean Brilliant. unfortunately they can't invite the same guests every year. Well but, fingers oh, crossed you'll be back with I us would actually. love them to invite me back at some stage, you know, but they worked really hard and it really paid off. It's been a fantastic show. Brilliant. Yeah. And it's only going to get better and better and better. Oh, good, good. It's yeah, nice to so I'm very happy with it. Well, thank you for that. Anyway, oh, thank you welcome. for your time. You're uh, welcome.